that's coming right along me with me on today's journey. We're slowly making our way towards Oklahoma City. Yeah, we delivered our trailer this morning and picked up our reloaded trailer. Then we went and had breakfast, didn't we? Yep. There you go. How was breakfast? Very good. There you go. That's awesome. So, now we're uh, just trying to get out of Toronto. Not bad traffic. Not bad, a little bit, but not too bad. But it has uh, been drizzling here for the last couple of hours. It rained overnight pretty heavily. I actually woke up and we had some thunderstorms and stuff like that, but hey, that's the way it goes. But we had us a blast yesterday and today is back to work. We spent enough money yesterday. <laughs> yeah did a little shopping yesterday and a little fun going on that CN Tower that was fun at least I had a lot of fun how about you I had lots of fun there you go that was something new for you and I think I just checked out some of the video clips and I think they came out pretty good some of them I'm very very impressed with it anyways I didn't think my GoPro was going to do that good there, uh, especially looking through the glass there, looking all the way down and stuff like that. So I was very impressed with the way the camera performed. So I'm happy with that. And here we are, making our way to, towards Oklahoma City. We got 1991 kilometers, it was basically 2,003 kilometers there from the Husky truck stop. We went over there and scaled the load and went inside and had breakfast. We wanted to make sure that the load was legal. We were a little bit on the heavier side. I mean, the bill of lading shows 40,400 and some pounds, but you never know. You know, with that kind of weight, you could uh, be easily overweight on one particular axle, you know? Like that could be the tractor or it could be the trailer, you know? So it's a smart idea to uh, scale it. I think we were like 32,000 on the drives and change and uh, we were like 30,000 and change on the trailer so we got plenty of room but you know if I didn't scale it and all of a sudden they loaded it a little crappy I could have been 36,000 on the drive and maybe 28 on the uh, or 27 on the trailer you never know or the opposite I could be like 37 on trailer and 27 on the drives you know so it's a smart idea to do it when you're that heavy. And we are definitely legal. Good to go. We got full fuel. I mean, we fueled up there uh, Saturday evening when we got in. So, I mean, the truck is idling quite a bit too. So, I mean, we used some fuel, but at the same time, we got a good amount of fuel. I think we should be able to make it up to uh, Oklahoma City. Yes, indeed. Let's make our way down. We're still waiting on the border crossing to clear. Still haven't gotten that message yet, but hey, I assume by the time we get to the border, uh, we will have it cleared. I mean, it's another, at least three and three quarter hours driving yet for us. So, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit before we uh, get to the border. I'm just going to go move back in the right lane here now. I usually do drive in the right lane, but Sometimes when you get out of here, there's a lot of traffic coming on ahead. and off onto the highway. So it's always a little hazardous uh, being in the right lane up here sometimes. So then I just usually take the center lane and that way you got less hassle to deal with, you know. But anyways, now we're a little bit further out, so now we should be okay. So let's put the hammer down and let's have ourselves a great day. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend like we did. So that's come and join us for the rest of the trip and we would appreciate that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming up to the Ambassador Bridge again. Yes, indeed we are. Yep, we are just about to enter into the United States again. So let's see how hard it is going to be getting into the States today. I know sometimes they are a little hard over here on us. In two kilometers, take the entrance to the right on I-75. 
They ask a lot of questions sometimes and bullshit questions and stuff like that, but they still got to do their job. But uh, hey, sometimes it's a little difficult then. Well, whatever it is, hopefully they'll let us get in the United States and we will let you know if they were hard on us or not. But look at these old buildings up here to the right, eh? I mean, I talked about it before, but I'm so surprised that they're still standing these days, you know? With all kinds of storms and winds going on all the time and all that stuff, you know, they're still standing tall. That is very, very good. Look at that green water, deal. Well, look at that. Some spots it looks less greenish than the other. I wonder how come. That's weird, eh? You see that? Now over there, there is a spot there where it doesn't look as green as it does in some other places. Either it's not as deep over there or something is causing the water to look different. But it definitely looks weird. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Maybe there is some sewage or something that's being pumped into the into the river or lake up here and maybe that's why it is eh could uh could be never know but anyways it looks like we're coming to a stop up here so i guess we'll see you guys on the other side welcome to michigan guys yeah we are now in the united states of america and we told you earlier we were going to tell you if we had a hard time at the border or not. Believe it or not, we had a very nice gentleman there today. Didn't really ask us any question. The only question he asked is what we had in the trailer. That was it. That's the only question he asked. He looked in the system there for a little while and handed us our paperwork back and our uh, passport and fast card. He said, have a nice day. Very nice guy. That's what I figured anyways. What do you think? Is he nice? Very nice. That's what I thought. Yeah, looks like we got a chicken house coming up here in a few miles, but it's always been there. We'll see if they're open or not. Yeah, I think we will be making us a pit stop here pretty soon. We need to go use the restroom too, so not too much longer and then we'll go pay, uh, have a pit stop so uh, so yeah let's get on down the road and uh, make the best of it right the main thing was we got across the border pretty quickly I was surprised too there was not a long lineup today like I mean we were like there was one truck ahead of us and by the time we got to the actual boot uh, we you know he was actually starting up his truck and just leaving I mean I I literally barely came to a full complete stop I mean it was that just barely but yeah I was surprised at that but anyways we'll see if this chicken house is open I can almost see the sign there it almost looks to me like it's closed that's good that's good news that's exactly what we want to see last thing is uh, that we need is some more wasting time somewhere but I mean we will probably waste a little bit of time here in a little bit but hey we got to do that but anyways we'll put the hammer down all right guys it is the next morning yeah we're here at the pilot yeah you can probably see the sign over there I know it's the next morning he's still sleeping over there but yeah finish uh, finish yesterday's video I suppose and I know it's uh, been a bit of a shorter video but uh, I haven't uh, mentioned this at all this last week but uh, you guys remember last week Monday like not yesterday the week before Monday I got my alternator changed again right well when me and my son went out uh, the second night it burned up again so I was real mad about it I just never said anything to you guys about it all week because I wanted to get down to the bottom of it on why is this happening I know we did put an aftermarket alternator on there but it shouldn't happen like this I mean these are brand new alternators you know like two in a row like, I mean, in only 
you know, two days of, of usage of it. So uh, I've been trying to get into a Thermo King all week this last week, but none of them had time. Finally, last night I got one that had time and got me in. And uh, we had it uh, looked at and uh, we had the alternator changed again. And uh, come to find out that uh, my mechanic failed to notice that the uh, alternator turns the opposite way than a normal vehicle would. So what happened is I'm going to see if I can uh, remember to put up this picture. I took a picture of the fan blade and it's supposed to turn counterclockwise and a regular alternator turns clockwise. So what was happening is the cooling fan that an alternator has got on the front of the alternator was turning the wrong way so it wasn't cooling the uh, alternator so that's why it was burning up so that makes sense to me you know under a heavy use it was burning up so now it just cost me 891 dollars here yesterday at Thermo King to change an alternator and the bracket was a bad 240 alternator the uh, I guess somebody hadn't tightened up the alternator or at, at one point it gotten loose and the uh, the hole where the bolt goes through the screw on the alternator was uh, damaged so the bolt was loose in there and it's not supposed to be so we had to change that bracket that was a hundred and somewhat dollars just by itself but whatever we got it changed and uh, I am going to be contacting the uh, manager today at that Thermo King and I will let you know what happens from there but uh, I'm also pissed off at them too uh, and uh, they, uh, they did something wrong to me yesterday and uh, I'm not happy about it so uh, I'm going to contact their manager today and we're going to see if we can uh, resolve this off camera if not then I will be making a video about it and I will let you guys know what happened and then we'll go from there but uh, yeah that's why I've been uh, kind of pissed yesterday and didn't really make too much video and uh, I figured well I'll let you guys uh, in on a little bit anyways and uh, tell you what happened there so uh, well we'll go from from here we're just getting ready to uh, get rolling here this morning make our way towards Oklahoma we didn't do the we didn't drive a whole lot yesterday we spent a couple of hours there at the Thermo King yesterday to change the alternator again and so it's been costing me a lot of money with uh, downtime and I mean I took last week's uh, like not this not yesterday Monday's off well it would be today's video that you're looking at but the Monday before I took that off just so I could get the alternator changed again and here yesterday I had a couple hours off to, to you know had to get out of my out of my route a few miles too to get to the Thermo King and so it's been costing me money and these guys uh, overcharged me in my opinion so uh, we're gonna see if we can resolve that off camera though but uh, Anyways, uh, I'm a little pissed off at the whole situation, so we'll, hopefully we'll have a better day today, so let's get this day done with, and uh, we'll, we'll try and be more different things tomorrow, so stick around, and we'll see you then. This is Trucker Rudy signing out. <laughs>